Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get started with vocal mixing in Afro Studio. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. A few days ago somebody requested that I make a video on vocal mixing chain in FL Studio. So instead of making a vocal mixing chain, I thought I should combine it with the whole setup from the beginning to the end. We're going to look at three things preparing the mixer for mixing, then sending vocals to mixer tracks, and then finally the vocal chain, or rather the arrangement of the plugins for mixing. With me here, I've got a song, an instrumental on top here, then I've got all these vocals. So the first step that we're going to do is set up our mixer. So firstly, we're going to start by uh, grouping lead vocals on the other side, backing vocals on the other side, and then reverb and delay and so on. So to start with, I'm going to press this, then right click, and then go to separator. I'll click on this. What the separator really does is just create this demarcation between this and this. And the reason is because I want to put the instrumental here. So I can just rename this to instrumental. Then I'll just give it uh, a color. So it's important that you give these colors so that you're able to see properly. Then uh, for my master, I also just give it uh, a color. Starting from inset number two, I'm going to hold down Control and Shift. Then just I light about up to inset number seven. I'll click on Rename Lead Vocal. Then click here and give them a color like that then do this so this will be my lead vocal i can go on and rename them to lead vocal one uh, lead vocal two lead left in case you want to pan them you want to pan some lead vocals lead left and lead right this one goes to to the left if you want it to go all the way this one goes to the right at this point i'm going to click on separator and then separate so now i'll start with my backing vocals this side Control shift hold and then just click and then rename give them a color let's say this backing vocal so we can also we can also have backing right right and backing backing left then send them this one to the left this one to the right just control shift then right click and then go to dock then dock to right then i'm going to rename this to verb send then i'll give it a color then this one will be delay send to separate here then i'm going to create these groups for my backing and for my lead this is the lead vox group channel since lead vocals have this so i'll give it the same color so this one again i'll rename it to backing same color use this and then i'll come here and separate i'm going to rename this to what is called a pre-master then I'll give it a color. Instead of sending these straight to the master, I'll first send them to this, which is my pre-master. In case I want to add something, then it goes to the master. So now, from here, we can now start sending our lead vocals to our lead group channel, our backing vocals to our backing. We'll start with our lead vox group channel. Just click on this to unhook it from the master and then send it to our pre-master and then from the backing group channel also send it to our pre-master so now you see that these two from here are sent here we can come to our lead vocals we can send them individually to our lead vox group channel so remove it from here send it to this go to the next one remove it from here send it here so you do this for all these so you can see now that all these are sent to our lead vox group channel 
we can go we can move on to our backing all right so our backing vocals are also sent to our backing vocal group channel and these group channels are going to are going to our pre-master and our pre-master is sending everything direct to our master all right so now we are done with preparing our mixer for mixing now we can go to our vocals and send them to these mixer tracks so i've got vocals here this is a lead vocal so i'll double click on this then send it to track number number two which is lead vocal one so if you look at this this was one vocal so i've sent i've sent the whole lot of this it has one name i've sent the whole lot of this to here unless maybe if you if these were different then that would mean you send this here and send this here but this was one i just cut it here i'm just going to click on this this is a backing vocal i'll double click and send it to can send it to backing vocal and then you do all of this for all your backing vocals so now let's move on to adding the plugins now so to start with if you remember we have this web send for the web send i'm going to add a reverb plugin so i'll just use this stop so i'll click on fruit reverb send then i'll just send the weight all the way up then the dry down then i'll just remove it and then i'm going to add a parametric eq just below on the web send just below the reverb i'll add the parametric eq and then i'm just going to cut out this side and then also a bit on this side so that I leave it concentrated here to have that smooth reverb. Then for the delay, I'm going to add a fruity delay bank. Then I'll just leave it at default. And then after that, I'll go to my lead vocal group channel, send it to my reverb. Then I'll just drop it down all the way. Then I'll go to this, then do I'll do the same for the delay. Now send it all the way down because when we start putting the plugins now, we're going to start adjusting our reverb and our delay. I'll go to my backing, send it to the reverb, to the verb send, and then drop it down, send it to the delay and drop it down. Now that we're done, we can go to lead vocal and start adding plugins. So I'll start with an EQ, put it there. So I'm going to play my lead vocal, which is this one on the verse. Then we can try to add some EQ. Baby, Okay, so this is just some basic EQ. You can take your time on this. Then I'll move on to a compressor. And I'm going to use fruity compressor. Just set the ratio to somewhere 4 to 1. And then let's just play with the threshold. Baby, Alright, so our compressor is okay. Let me use a DSR from Fab Filter. Baby, So the next step is to add some reverb so we know that we've already sent our channel to a reverb send which is this so all we need to do is start adding some reverb down here down Baby, Yeah. 
let's listen to this without the beat. Baby, well, it's your own lead vox. We want to get these presets here and drop them on back in vocals. So you can go to here, then go to file, then save mixer tracks dead. Lead vox. So we've saved it. Once you do that, go to your backing and then go back here. Look for Leadvox, the one you just saved, and just click on that. So if you look at this, it also renames our mixer track. So we can just take it back to backing. So I have these two backing vocals. I've sent them to 12 and 13. <laughs> So we don't have reverb and delay on these. So I'll go to my backing. Then I'm just going to add some. I'll add some reverb. All right, so that's it for our backing vocals. Thanks a lot for watching. If you found this video helpful and if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to this channel, Make sure you click that subscribe button. So my name is Che and I'm out.